what, the storm came through on? September 27th. Yeah, at around like 3 a.m. 3 a.m. 2, 3 a.m. Yep. yep. And it came through Vidalia. What were the winds? Did you get any tally on the yeah, wind we, speed? We, uh, I've heard uh, that the winds registered at the airport. Yeah. Um, I think somewhere between 100 and 105. Wow. Uh, miles per hour um, just at the Vidalia airport. And, uh, you know, I was, uh, we were up at the house because the whole house was shaking. And, you know, I just, I, my house, I felt like has been, was, is built really well. Mm -hmm. And to see and feel <laughs> that experience, yeah. um, I mean, it was kind of like being at a theme park hmm. in a sense. You're just kind of sitting there like, man, this thing's shaking and you can hear the shingles beating and wow. uh, see the tree from the lights outside, just see a couple trees just blowing like, how in the world is it staying up? Um, it was, it was very, uh, it was definitely an experience that, that I'll never forget. And it just made me think about, um, other folks that were, that are, you know, in, uh, mobile homes that, yeah. you know, I mean, just that, that terror yeah. of what in the world is going to happen. Yeah. Um, you know, we all just, you know, we count our blessings and we're thankful that we're able to stand here and talk and kind of update you, uh, you know. And our problems that we have are nothing compared to some other problems that people have from this storm. And so I've heard folks say this is probably going to be the largest recorded storm in history as far as damage. Uh, and I've also talked to EMA, uh, uh, emergency management folks, that their job is to go to different parts of the country during disasters. Mm -hmm. And... The, the first time I saw them, they said, yeah, this is probably one of the worst I've seen. And then you talk to them and say, yeah, this is the worst I've seen. So it's pretty, uh, it's just, it's odd to kind of actually be living in it now. Yeah. You know, you see it on TV all the time. You see the news. You're like, how do you, what is that like? What is it like? Well, I'm able to live it now. Yeah. Uh, let's walk. I want you to see this. You already filming? Yeah. All right. I'll come look right here and split the. You can tell, even though we got some bad weeds, I, you know, this year for some reason, this nuts edge has like really been crazy. But uh, is it the taller? Yes, yeah, the stems. taller grass. Yeah. yeah, and you can just tell the. These are the difference in the planting. So, what I'm gonna show you uh, on one of the previous ones when we were planting. Um, you know, they started to germinate, and I know we did a little film showing that, I think, didn't we, Peter? Yeah. 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 yeah well, we so, were, well, just when we were planting the seed beds. So what you're seeing here is the first planting where they kind of have uh, rebounded and started to come back. They're starting to get their green color, but you can see these brown leaves. Yeah. That was what was damaged from the storm. Um, from Hurricane Helena. From Hurricane Helena, yep. And uh, we still see, I mean, there's a lot of uh, sandblasting that happened. It's, it's kind of hard to tell because it's so small right now, but um, we, it's kind of hard to gauge just how bad uh, these onions will be affected. You know, an onion is, is pretty, uh, it's a resilient thing uh, once it gets per cer past certain stages of its growth, yeah. but with it being so young, that's what I'm a little worried about. So what you're looking at on these, uh, you can tell where the storm blew the onion basically down and cut it, the sand cut it wow. and caused this to die. So this is falling off, okay? And we've got, thankfully, right now, we've got them, looks like they're rebounding and coming back yeah. and growing. Looks like this, almost the tops were were yeah. split off. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, they were sawed off basically. See, there's the top that was on that one, and they just kind of coming back. But we've, so we're thankful to see this. Now, the other part of the thing that's kind of uh, been tough on me right now is due to the storm, due to the massive amount of trees that were lost uh, and the power lines that were, um, the power lines that were knocked down we don't have power for our pivot. And so we can't water. 
Uh, oh, wow. And so, you know, we also are getting close to the end of being able to plant onions. So we actually planted part of our uh, third stage. We're gonna make we're gonna make one more planting, maybe tomorrow. I'm waiting on a generator to get here so that we can run the pivots. Uh, I do see the electric company right down the road when we were coming in, so that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, we can't even turn on the pivot right now to get water to the onion. So, uh, you know, again, during this stage, uh, these onions are no different than our kids when they're young. We want to support them and make sure that they get all the nutrition they need and water and, uh, you know, right now we're just not able to do that. Uh, the nutrition moves with water. So even if we were to put some fertilizer out or, or something, um, the plant really can't take it up without having the moisture for it to locate it, to move it through to the root zone. What percentage of the seed beds have been planted so far? Uh, we're about, uh, we were talking about it yesterday. Before the storm, we had, I'd say 65% of it planted. Yeah. Um, yesterday we planted another 15, 20%, and then we were going to kind of knock off the, you know, we we're going to actually probably have to add a little bit more seed just, just because we don't really know what's going to happen here. Yeah. Uh, I can definitely tell that there is some loss uh, just because of the skips that I see. Typically, you wouldn't see them. Um, so, uh, you know, we're probably, tomorrow we will be finished, tomorrow or Saturday, we're gonna finish um, planting. Uh, and we're just gonna have to go with whatever we got then. But, uh, you know, the last thing I wanna do is plant too much and then we have too many plants, but, um, you know, it's just, uh, we're, we're basically just in a time where, I mean, this is, really don't know what to do a lot of times. Or does a generator, could a generator power the pivot? Or does that cross your mind? Yeah, or? yeah, so I've got a generator coming. Oh, um, you do? Okay. Yeah, the, you know, we weren't the only farm <laughs> affected. Yeah. Uh, we weren't the only business affected. Yeah. And so uh, what folks don't realize is, I know our fans and, and everybody that's probably viewing this channel is thinking about onions, um, but we also grow row crops. Uh, I've got friends of mine that grow uh, row crops as well. When I say row crops, I'm talking corn, soybeans, uh, pe uh, peanuts, yeah. cotton. Um, and so I've got friends, like right now, I had a generator scheduled to be with us uh, and I put the brakes on it for a half a day because I wasn't sure. I was being told we may have power at the packing shed. Well, when I did, a peanut um, a cleaning plant needed it also. So they were able to get it. And uh, so folks aren't real, they don't really realize like it's time to start digging peanuts and picking peanuts uh -huh. as well as cotton. Yeah. So when that storm came through, it's, it's, it's crippling Georgia agriculture right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, and when we talk about ag in Georgia, I mean, it's the number one leading business in Georgia. Yeah. I mean, you think about timber, so many, so many acres of timber have been lost. Yeah. Um, now you've got the impact from the peanuts and the, and the cotton. I mean, cotton that was opening up, basically just blown completely off of the, the plant. Yeah. And uh, so yeah, you know, it's bad on us, it's bad on everybody. And it's one of those things, we just don't know what is gonna happen. Uh, sometimes uh, your best seasons start off with the, with the most challenges. So Funny. Yeah. we definitely can say this is one of the most challenging. For me, this is the first time I've ever experienced it. Um, you know, we've, it we've had hurricanes and had a lot of rain, yeah. but not what we experienced. This, yeah. this last week, September 27th, so. Here's that pecan orchard. 
I don't know how old that pecan orchard is, but it's one of the, it's an older one, but look, I mean, it's almost, I mean, pretty much every tree almost, uh -huh. every big tree. And then, you, you know, here's the other parts of it. So much timber was blown over. Well, this is that's literally for off the frost wood. Then like, you know, FEMA's coming in and this is what they told us to do was basically you line up all the wood on the side of the road and they come in with these big trucks. I mean, look, yeah. I mean, there's 75, 80 year old pine trees out here. Yeah. Just wiped out all those woods there. 